lost your cool, Mason. You don't care about anybody, do you, Peter? Certainly not you. Is there any reason why I shouldn't tell Kelly the truth? Expose you for what you are. She give you reason, something. I've already established that you have no conscience, Peter, that you're totally immoral. I would only hope that you'd find some thread of human decency and you not lie to willfully ruin another man's life. Oh, bag it, Mason. I'm not going to come to your rescue because of my conscience. It's, it's funny. Although I might reconsider if you could tell me from the bottom of your heart what a wonderful guy you think I am. Then maybe I could uh, find it in my heart to be lenient on you and perhaps absolve you of any guilt. Well, then you would indeed be one heck of a nice guy, Peter. But then I've always thought you were a rather stalwart fellow and a wonderful human being. Nice try. Mm -hmm. What? Well, uh, come on, plugged here. Why, so you have. We, we have me reach it, Miss. What? We have, I need the IV. What'd you say, Peter? I, I can't hear you. Mason, help me. I need the IV or I could die. No, really? Yes, the doctor told me. Please. Well, you, you're not. Uh, the IV's not keeping you alive now. Mason, help me, will you, please? What, what'd you say, Peter? I'm, I'm having a little trouble with my, my hearing. What did you say? 